awesome God, awesome God. When you command a thing, it shall be established. Now is the season to see the move of God. This is the moment to encounter your wealth, your miracle, and your breakthrough. Let's decree the declare of God's promises today. Believe in the Lord, your God, so shall ye be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. Today I speak life into your home. I speak a fresh anointing for supernatural breakthrough. Are you a part of the prayer line? Join Apostle Murphy and A. Sampson on the prayer line, Monday through Friday at 7.45 p.m., Saturday at 6.45 p.m., and Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Call 267-930-4000. Access code is 074-303-015. Again, that number is 267-930-4000. And the access code is 074-303-015. A time for warfare prayer, teaching, prophecy, intercession, and communion. Visit the website for more information at www.mertleansampson.org. Join the prayer line and receive your healing, miracle, supernatural turnaround, breakthrough, unexpected money, and supernatural release. Call Monday through Friday at 7.45 p.m. Saturday at 6.45 p.m. or Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and join the prayer line. Call us at 267-930-4000. Access code is 074-303-015. Be a part of this prayerful movement. Connect with Apostle Samson on social media and receive daily encouragement. Follow Apostle Merkling A. Sampson on Facebook at Apostle Merkling A. Sampson. Connect with Apostle Merkling A. Sampson on Instagram at Apostle underscore Merkling Sampson. Follow Apostle Merkling A. Sampson on Twitter at Merkling. And subscribe to her YouTube video at Apostle Merkling A. Sampson. Go ahead and connect now with Apostle Merkling A. Sampson on social media and be a part of her virtual social media family. Apostle Merkling A. Sampson would love to hear from you. Connect with her now. Good evening, everyone. Blessings, blessings on this Friday. Good Friday. It is a good Friday. Because this is the day that the Lord has fulfilled His promise for us. And we thank the Lord tonight. We say good evening to everyone, those there on Facebook and on YouTube. Go ahead, like and share. Like and share so others can come in. And good Friday. It's a good day. And it is Friday. <laughs> it's a good Friday. Thank you, Lord. I thank God for this day. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Thank you guys for coming on tonight. Go ahead, like and share.
Good evening, Prophet Sharice Williams. Blessings to you. Blessings to you tonight. Ain't God good? He is good. <laughs> good evening, Prophetess Loretta. Blessings to you. Blessings to you. And your daughter, Africa. <laughs> so she commented on the video. Good evening to you, Sister Diaz. She said, good evening. Blessings to you tonight. What an awesome day. What an awesome day. Good evening to you, Sister Nye. Blessings tonight. Holy. Holy. Are you Lord God Almighty? Word is a lie. Oh, thank you, Lord. Good evening, Sister Trinish. Blessings to you tonight. Blessings. The attack is real. I, I, let me tell you something. You got to push with prayer, boy. <laughs> I hear you, Sister Diaz. It's real. It will be prayer. With prayer, just praying, just praying. Just praying. I know. You're going to win. <laughs> You're going to win. You're going to win. Yep, I pray for this world for real. Good evening, Sister Bridget. How are you? <laughs> uh huh. She concurred with what she said. Yep, it's getting unbeatable. Well, the Lord said, "Is the world system going to be chaotic?" Isn't that what He said, Pastor Marcel? And He's going to take care of His people. You are God Almighty. What is the land? What is the land? <laughs> Good evening, Sister Bibi. Blessings to you tonight. Good evening, Sister Danette. Blessings to you. How's the grandbaby doing? He's good. Blessings. You know they say, you know they know me say, give him a kiss for me. Give him a, give your grandbaby a kiss for Pastor. <laughs> Blessings. Blessings to your prophetess Mattis. I saw your text this morning. I responded. I think I did. Did I? I'm not even sure. There were so many text messages. Blessings, prophetess Kenji. Blessings to you. Blessings to you. Yep, gotta take Sunday off, Sister Diaz. Take it off. <laughs> take it off. You're entitled to it. You are entitled to it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Good evening. So, Johnny's blessings. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Lord. No, too much, Sister Diaz. They, they got to take a light on you. <laughs> they got to take a light on you. Let's do a saying good evening here on the prayer line. Denisha, how are you? Blessings. Good evening, Elena Waters. Blessings to you. Good evening, Professor uh, Warren. Blessings. Good evening, Mother Dennis. Blessings, blessings, blessings to you. <laughs> Good evening, Evangelist Telma. Blessings uh, to you today. Awesome God, pray that you're able to make it back home. Awesome Savior, thank you, Lord. He's a good God, holy. <laughs> He's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful God. Bless God for each and every one of you. 
It's good Friday. It's a good Friday. It's a good Friday. Love and share so others can come in and they get to the word of the Lord. Love and share so others can come in tonight. Thank you, mighty Savior. He is our Redeemer. He is our shield. He is our buckler. And we thank God for keeping. We thank him for sustaining. We thank him for releasing. We thank him for providing. <laughs> We thank him for giving, <laughs> giving us strength. We thank him for giving us the strength to endure each and every day. He's a able God. Somebody say God is an able God. Somebody declare God is an able God. He's able, he's able. Holy. <laughs> Are you Lord God? What is the land? What is the land? You are holy, holy. Are you Lord God Almighty? What is the land? What is the land? That's right, Prophetess Mattis. He's able. God. He's an awesome God. He's a sufficient God. Love and share. Love and share. And we're going to get into the word of the Lord. Oh. Oh. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood Jesus, it was shit. 
blood of Jesus. It washes waters snow. To the highest mountain And it flows Through the lowest valley Oh, the blood That gives us strength <laughs> From death It will never lose his power for in riches <laughs> to the highest mountain. Prophet this guy, the blood that gives me strength from day to day, it will never lose his chapter 19 Chapters 19. And we read verses 30, but then we get into verses 25 until 30. But let's read verses 30. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. Somebody said, No, it's what the blood. It was the blood. It was the blood. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> My 
master, savior. <laughs> I tell you, that name can take your troubles away. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Arisku tulubuski talamanda basket tulubu. When Jesus, therefore, had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. He bowed his head and gave up the ghost. He said it is finished. Let's talk a little bit today. You know across America several churches are dealing with the seven last scene of Jesus Christ. But he, had, he just had the last two words. Then he bowed his head. It is finished. And that's it. Hmm. Let's talk a little bit on Jesus put things in order. It's finished. Lord, we thank you today. Your grace and mercy is sufficient for us. We thank you for keeping. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, mighty Savior. Thank you, mighty Savior. I know we changed that today. I don't know what happened. I'm going to try to change it right now, Pastor Marshall. Thank you. Jesus put things in order. That's what we're talking about today. Jesus put things in order. It is finished. Somebody say, it is finished. <laughs> it is finished. He put things in order. He bowed his head and he said, it is finished. Somebody say, it is finished. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> He said it is finished. It is finished. It is finished. Somebody said it's finished. It is finished. It is finished. It is finished. Lord, thank you today for your grace and your mercy. Thank you keeping sustaining thank you for miracles thank you for open doors thank you lord for doing it for us you said it's done what you came to do you said it's done what you came to do you said it's done but as we teach today let your word give clarity let it fall on good ground let the word God penetrate the hearts of your people, block every plan of the enemy. Remove him, God, that you will not be able to snatch the word today from your people. Bless them, we ask. Bring things back to my remembrance. In Jesus' name, amen. It's finished. It is finished. Jesus put things in order. Sometimes somebody say, he put things in order. <laughs> He did, and Satan couldn't block it. Jesus did, and Satan couldn't block it. He tried. He tried, prophetess guy, but he just couldn't do it. <laughs> but 
Thank you, mighty Savior. Jesus put everything in order, just like he promised. Thank you, Lord. It is finished. It is finished. It is finished. It is finished. You know, for the past three years, for the past three years, we find because of COVID, there is so many people that died. The numbers were extremely large. So many people died. And even now we find that people or more people are dying. And everyone, one of these days, you and I are going to be caught up. <laughs> going to be caught up. Even now we find that every day someone is dying. Someone is dying. Because of various reasons, some their time has expired because they've lived a life and they've reached the age to die. Some because of sickness or whatever circumstance, overdose, whatever it is, but they die. And that one of those people that died, let's say for the past three years, past week, past month, have we seen come from the grave? They're still there. And we have mourned those who die. But never once have we seen where we mourn the death of Jesus Christ. Even his disciples didn't. When he died, Mary, Martha, Jesus' mother was there. Other disciples were there and they walked away when he died. But they didn't go home and, and have a funeral. Because they knew that all this was in God's plan, God's purpose. They know all this God had set up, God had planned it. God orchestrated it. And it, it was all for a reason. Everything was for a reason. And we know that throughout Jesus Christ's teaching, that Jesus Christ had indicated that, you know, he demonstrated that he's going to die, his death is going to come, and then his resurrection was also going to happen. And we find throughout history that Jesus Christ is known to many as the most controversial person because his death, his resurrection, but rewind, is Burton. But I think one of the most difficult things for people to understand is this resurrection or his death. How can one man come and take the sins of the world in his hand? And in all this, Prophet Loretta, Jesus was teaching or taught and demonstrated about the demonstration of his death, about his resurrection. And we can see, if we go back all the way back, and we did so on Sunday, we can go all the way back and see that death came about because of a man's sin, one man's sin. And because of one man's sin, death came about. But the thing is, death was spoken by God in the Garden of Eden. And death could have no power until sin existed. So sin had to exist in order to give death its power. So now because God said to the man that if you eat, you shall surely die. Now, now the thing is, Prophet Sharice Williams, God said it. So if God had said it, then God had to make sure that it become. If God said once you eat in Genesis 2 and 17, but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eat it, thou shalt surely die. 
in Genesis 2 17 thou shalt surely die we see that on Sunday that word die is moot which means you will bring about death or disease or destroy or kill or take life or strike or to put to violence so the Lord said to man that once you sin death will have its power Once man sinned, death now had its power. Sin was powerless when there was no, death was powerless when there was no sin. So for that reason, death was in existence, but it was powerless. Death was there because he said, the Lord said it now in Genesis 2, 17. Once you eat of the tree of good and evil, you shall surely die. So the word is lingering there in the earth realm. And waiting for the manifestation. Because remember the Lord says, even when we don't keep our promise, he is still faithful to keep his promise. And all of his promises in him is yea and amen. So if God told man that, then death had to happen. But it had to happen at the right time and the right season. So death was in existence but was powerless. Death got its power when it was given power through disobedience. Hmm. So therefore, for this reason, the power of death was released. And it was released and taken authority over Satan because he told Eve... Is it true that if you eat, you shall not die? So Satan didn't create sin or death or disobedience. Man did. In the earth realm. In, in, in the earth realm because, because when it was told to Adam about death, in heaven there was no death. Satan came from heaven. He is a fallen angel. So when God said this to Adam... Adam caused what was spoken by God to come to reality. So that is why Jesus went and he said, you know what? Now that came into existence. That was there. It came into existence because of sin. So because of sin and Satan being oh, oh, uh, uh, disobedient also to God, causing a woman to sin, we find where the power of death or the power was given to Satan because of disobedience so jesus christ going to the cross to take what satan had stolen to take back the power that was given now if you look at in, in hebrews chapter 2 and verses 14 watch what he says hebrews 2 and 14 debt for as much then as the children are partakers Koinonia, excuse me, koinonio, that word partakers, which means to have a share of or communicate or contribute or have partaken or be made a partner or to enter into fellowship. So now we have entered into fellowship. We are children who are partakers, Hebrews 2 and 14, of the flesh and blood. He also himself likewise took part of the same. Watch now. That through death he might destroy him that had the power of death. That is the devil. So who caused death to come or to become powerful? It was Satan because he told Eve, if you eat, you will not die. Who said once you eat it, you shall die? The Lord said it. The Lord spoke it, waiting for the manifestation, the activation of that word that was spoken. So it says that because we were once partakers, Adam and Eve, they had access to everything in the Garden of Eden. They had access to all the fruit except this tree of good and evil. Don't touch it now. Don't touch it. 
And here the Hebrew writer help us to understand that, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil. Who had the power of the because because it was spoken already in the Garden of Eden. The Lord said, If you eat, you shall die. Satan said, You will naturally die. Cause the woman to now activate what was spoken. So what happened? The enemy has received the power over death. So because he has received power over death, that's why Jesus Christ had to come. That's why he had to come. What, what she said in the Amplified Bible, Hebrews 2 and 14. Therefore, since these children share in flesh and blood, the physical nature of mankind, he himself in a similar manner also shared, in a similar manner shared, uh, in the same physical nature, but without sin. So that through experiencing death, he might make powerless, ineffective, impotent him who had the power of death, that is the devil. <laughs> who had the power of death, that is the devil. So even Satan himself, understand, even Satan himself said that the power was delivered to him. So, so, so therefore, Jesus had to take what was stolen from man in the Garden of Eden and release it back to us. So to know the purpose, to know the order of why he came and died, we have to go all the way back to, to Genesis. So, 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 so Satan, after, after, after it was spoken by God that, that you shall surely die. And, and the enemies told Eve that if you eat, you will not die. Mm -hmm. Cause now sin to become powerful because sin, sin became uh, powerful. Death became powerful because why? Sin existed. Disobedience took place. Satan took the power. He took the power from what God has given unto Adam and Eve. So here, when Jesus had an encounter with Satan, what Satan said to him, watch this, go to Luke chapter 4 and verse 6. Luke 4 and 6 says, and, and the dead said unto him, all this power, Satan said unto him, all this power, all this power, exousia, authority, delegated, empowerment, dominion, or charge, will I give thee. Uh-huh, watch now. Will I give thee, will I give who? Will I give you all this power and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me. And to whomever I will give it. So, so, so we come to understand that Satan received his power because of sin. And it was released unto him. So now when he had an encounter with Jesus, he said to Jesus, the power of death was given to me. And that power that was given to me, delivered to me, after the conversation he had with Eve, he said, Jesus Christ, he said to him, he said, I can give it to whomever I want to give it to. I will give it to whomever I want to give it to. Because he said again, he said again now in Luke 4 and 6, for, for that is delivered unto me and to whomever I will give it. What is delivered? The power. Because death had no power until sin existed. So sin created the power of death and the communication that Adam, that Eve and Satan had caused what, what was, was, was powerless to become powerful and it was handed to him because he told her, if you eat, you shall naturally die. But she was already told that once you eat, you shall die. So, so, so death came. The first death was introduced to us in the Garden of Eden. So, so for that reason, after death was created, death was introduced, power was given to Satan. Now, 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 Satan was cast out of, out of, out of heaven. So if he come here and took the power that was given to man, God had to find a way where he had to take that power to give it back to us. Because he never gets Satan, gives Satan authority in the earth realm. He said the heavens and the heavens belongs to me. 
But the earth have I given to the sons of God. So if the earth is given to the sons of God, Satan is not a son of God. He's a prince of the air. So that power that was stripped from man in the Garden of Eden that created that what God said, I have to come now to take back. And the only way I can take back that power was through death. My God, thank you, Lord. So, 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 so Satan, Satan already declared now, Prophet Smith is that, that this was delivered unto me in Luke 4 and 6. The, the power, the power, the power, the power of death. The power of death was delivered unto me. Watch this in the Amplified Bible, move on, watch she says. He says in Luke 4 and 6. And the devil said to him, I will give you all this realm and its glory, its power, it's renowned because it has been handed to me. It's been handed to me and I will give it to whomever I wish. That's what the Lord said. I give you power over all the wiles of the enemy, all the power of the enemy. Because Satan had power, but now he came to die and died for us to give us back that power. So, 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 so all men received death because of one man. Everyone received the first death, disobedient, sin, because of one man's sin. And sin was caused by an action. Somebody say action. That was being disobedient. Therefore, it was one man action that had to erase the sin of mankind. What, what she said in Romans 5 and verses 12 until 13. Watch what he says. Romans 5, 12 until 13. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world. Go back again. Genesis 2, 17. Thou shalt not eat or you shall die. Romans 5 and 12 and 13. Wherefore, by one man sin enter into the world. One man sin, not sin, sin. One man sin disobedient. Ham, ham artia, the word sin, which means failure in an ethical sense. Or it also means a fault or guilt or bad action. Because of one man bad action and debt by sin. <laughs> debt by sin. Debt by sin. Go back again. Debt had no power until sin came into existence. So because of one man's sin that was introduced into the world or enter into the world, death by sin. That is why, that is why when we sin against God, we can cause spiritual or natural death, right? Yeah, yeah, we can. So he said because of one man's death, one man's sin and death by sin. And so death passed upon every man. For that all have sinned. E.D. That word sin is amartano. That word sinned, which means to miss the mark or do wrong or to make a mistake or commit a sin against God. That's what Paul said. In sin did my mother conceive me. Because one man sinned was entered into the world and caused the death of everyone. So he continued verses 13. He said, for unto the law was in the world, but sin is not imputed when there was no law. Sin was not imputed. And that word imputed there, Hebrews 5 and 13, is el logia, which means to change to one's account or a charge to. So sin was not introduced to us when there was law. Because in Adam and Eve, there was no law. No law could be given because there's just two, two people. Adam and Eve, that's it. So he says sin introduced the debt. And the debt that was introduced in the world was because of one man. And because of one man who came and introduced the debt because of disobedience, what happened, it happened before the law was in existence. So that is why, that is why, again, the Lord, the enemy had to be destroyed through debt. The enemy had to destroy, be destroyed through death. So Jesus Christ's crucifixion is not to come and just die for the world, but he came to destroy death and the power of Satan that was taken from man. Therefore, to see the fulfillment of what God had spoken, Jesus had to allow his purpose to come to pass. And his purpose could only come to pass 
by him coming and die. Watch what he says in, in Philippians 2, 9 until 11. Philippians 2, 9 until 11. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and become obedient unto death. <laughs> so so watch, the watch the correlation. In Genesis 2 and 17, man was disobedient to death. And disobedient created or caused death to manifest. Now Jesus Christ humbled himself, became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. So that natural death and spiritual death had to come together in order to produce what mankind needed. To save us from all our sins. To grant us the purpose of God. So let's continue, he says, in Philippians 2 and verses 9. Wherefore God had highly exalted him. God had highly exalted upor hapsuho. That word exalted, which means be on measure to a, a very high degree or the highest rank or harid power. Let me pause for a second. That's why Jesus Christ, when he said to the disciples, his disciples came back and said, Master, even Satan bowed to us. And he said, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. So Satan had to be exposed because why? The death of Christ was exalted and exposed. So let's continue. He says in verses, in, verses, in verses 10 now, Philippians 2, he says, And that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Things in heaven, things in the earth, things under the earth, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So it is given to us information that the Lord had to come now and be obedient to death. That's when we read the scripture last week. He said, I did not lay down, I did not, no man killed me, but I laid down my life for us. He said, I did it. I lay my life because it was a purpose. It was his purpose. So he had to fulfill his purpose. So, so disobedient, disobedience created or caused death to get his power. Obedience caused death on the cross to get its power back. <laughs> to get its power back. So, so watch now. So therefore death and sin Jesus had to bring back his people to the rightful place where Adam and Eve was first in the Garden of Eden. So Jesus had to make a public show of Satan. He came to give himself a ransom for us. So he had to make sure the same as Satan made a public show in the Garden of Eden. The Lord had to make a public show of Satan. Hey, Satan, you're a lion. That's it. Well, watch, watch, watch what he says. Watch what he says in, in, in Mark chapters, Mark chapter 10 and verses 45. Mark 10 and 45. Help us to understand why Jesus Christ is saying it's finished. He just didn't say it's finished that you sin and keep on sinning. No, uh, 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 uh. No, no, don't get it wrong. No, 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 that's not it. But watch he said it in Mark 10 and, and verses 45. Watch what he says in the, in the passion, in the passion translation. He says, he says, for even the son of man did not come expecting to be served by everyone, but to serve everyone and to give his life as the ransom price in exchange for salvation for many as a ransom price in exchange for many. So he stated his purpose in coming to go to the cross for many, not for one now. One man's sin enter into the world, cause everyone to sin. So he came now because everyone will be come into this earth realm when we're given birth by our, pay, our mother. What happened? We were born into sin. Now Jesus Christ came and said, I now came so I can ransom. I can buy back in exchange the salvation for all, for all, not for some. But that does not predicate that once that once you once you give your life to Christ and 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 you go and sin, mean that mean that 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 that, that the Lord forgive you already because He died for your sin. That's not it. Don't misinterpret. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't get it mixed up. Don't get it mixed up. Somebody said, "Don't get it mixed up now." Don't get it mixed up. Let's continue. So watch watch what He says. Go to go go to go to Ephesians four eight until ten. Watch He says. Wherefore he said, when he ascended up on high, he let captivity captive, and he gave gift unto men. 
Now that he ascended, what it is, but he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth. So on this day, what the Lord did, he went into the earth. In the lower part of the earth. He that descended in is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens that might fill all things. So it's on this day what he did. He went straight down into the earth. And he did so so he can ransom us back to him. So he can buy us back into him. And this is the only one. That's why so many people don't like Christianity. Once you say Jesus, they hate you. Because the first thing they say, well, Jesus Christ could never, he could never be burned of a virgin birth. And most of all, there's no way he can die and raise again because Ari Kushner didn't. Because Selassie I didn't. Because all the other gods did not and Jesus Christ did. And Paul confirmed it through the word of God in Ephesians that he that has descended, he's the one that ascended. He descended, he went into the earth. And he went into the earth. Why? Because he had to deal with Satan. He had to go through the earth and command back what was taken from Adam and Eve, taken back from Satan. That's why he said to the disciples, I give you the keys. Because he took back the keys that Satan had taken from Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Give me, give me that, give, give me the, give me the key. You, you ever, you have a, I, I had, I had, I had a member or son. Every time he drive a car, I was accident. And she would still give him the car. I see, it doesn't make sense. Why do you keep giving him the car? And all he does is just cause an accident. One time the car, the car got right off. How many thousands of dollars she didn't want the insurance to pay? But she's like, her oh, husband said, you better get the insurance because I ain't paying for nothing. She keep giving him the keys and the keys and the keys and the keys all the time. I said, you, you, gotta, you gotta learn your lesson because if you keep giving the keys and you gotta take the bus all the time to church, you're gonna be without a car. And she sure was for months. Until she make up my, well, when I fix my car, I'm not gonna give him the keys any longer. <laughs> was it done? No, it wasn't. When Jesus took the keys from Satan, he didn't hand it to him, he handed it to us. So that when Satan, the enemy comes, we have the authority to fight against him. Because wow, watch now, he had, he had deceived Eve in the Garden of Eden. So because we have the power now, because of Christ's crucifixion, when Satan comes to us, we have the authority to fight him. We have the keys to fight him. We can't say, well, Satan make me sin. Well, then, then, well, then, I mean, you need to get saved for real, though. Mm -hmm. huh? Huh? You, you're going to need to get saved for real. Because if Satan make you sin and God give you the power, then you're saying that, that Jesus Christ's death was ineffective and it wasn't. So, 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 again, so, so is that is the death that happened in the Garden of Eden and lead Jesus now going to the cross? So, so when he got to the cross and he began to, he began to, he began to declare and said his last word, it is finished. Because things has been put in order. Let, let, let's, pause, let's pause for a second. Let's look at the secular. When, when, when your loved one died, let's say your parent died, they're old, very old, in the 100 years old, and they died. And before they died, what they do, they have a will. They put things in order. So, okay, wait, wait, when I die, Pukutu will get the house, Babu will get the car, Pukutu will get 20,000, Babadu will get 20,000, Vaju will get 20,000. Uh, uh, give the grandkids each a $5 or something, some, something like that, right? <laughs> so they have it all written out. So because they have it all written out, now, Prophet Sharice Williams, when the time comes to read the will, this is back two, this is what we do, this is for the grand kids. Everybody got their share. That's it. They have some people to fight will. I don't know why people do that. That's greed. But well, nevertheless. So, so, so watch it. So, so the, the will is written out. So if the will is written out and it's there, what you expect? What's in the will you expect to receive it? So what is written, you expect to get it. It's the same in the word of God. What is written that is finished? We now have authority over Satan and the law was not yet imputed. So if the law was not yet imputed and Jesus Christ came during the time of the law, fulfilled the law, then we have authority in all aspects, in the natural realm and in the spiritual realm. So when Jesus was on the cross,
because he said he said he's fin he said he's finished. And we get to the text in a minute. He, he said it's finished in in and, and the word finished there. The, the Hebrew is nishlam and the Greek is tell tell echo, which means to bring to an end. I bring death to an end. So, 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 so now salvation is introduced. I bring death now so that when you die in me, nobody has to try to figure out is that person is in heaven? If you die in Christ, what he did, he now introduced salvation to you. So you know a child of God. When you go to the funeral and you shout it, you know the shout it because they're making it in heaven. I'm not talking about those, let's come to the text for a second. I'm not talking about those who drink for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, alcohol, and party, and all this kind of stuff. And you go to the funeral and say, I know they've been in heaven. No, 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 uh-uh, uh-uh. I don't say no, one saved and always, uh, always saved. No, uh-uh, that's not it. Hear me declare, it is finished, I bring death to an end. That's why Paul says in 1 Corinthians, Oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, grave, where is thy victory? So he said it's finished. It is, it is come to an end. It is complete or fulfilled. What is fulfilled? Getting back the power and look for the power of death that Satan had delivered unto him in the Garden of Eden. Now he said, I have taken this now. And I'm handing it now over to you. It is accomplished. That word finished. It is made perfect. That word finished. It reached its end. That word finished. Or with the result rolling over to the next level faced or consummation. It also means to perform. Or to do just as commanded. Or it also means paid in full. So here it again. I paid it in full. What, what she said in, 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 in John 17 and verses 4. Why is the time running? John 17 and 4. And then we get to the text. What she said. He said, I have glorified thee on the earth. Now, now that word glorify, you've seen it before. Dux adzo, which means to render or esteem glorious. Or it also means to bestow, honor, or extol, or magnify. I've magnified, I've extolled thee, I have glorified thee, doxadzo, thee in the earth. I have finished the work. <laughs> I have finished the work. You remember, you remember, you remember, remember we look at Genesis last week or, or Monday, I don't remember, uh, so many teachers. Remember we look at, when we look at Genesis, when the Lord said, and, and the Lord rested from his work, he rested from what he said. Because he sent his word and his work produced and created what it needed. So when the words created what it needed, God said, aha, I rest now. The reason why he rested, because based on the magnitude of what you have to create, it's based on the energy you have to put out. Do you know when you need a breakthrough, you pray harder? Is it so? It is so indeed. And when you pray harder, you feel like life left your body. So when God said it is finished from his work, what he has spoken to create the earth, it was spoken and the earth came into existence. And what happened, the word that he created, he spoke to create the earth. I told you Monday, it came back to him. Because he said his word shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish that which is was sent out to accomplish. So the word was sent out to create the world and it created the world. The word, was, the word was sent out to create the heavens and it came back to him. So that's why he carried the world, he carried the earth, he carried the sun, he carried the moon, he carried every creation upon him. So that's why he rested. So now Jesus Christ is picking up and saying, okay, I, 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 I am. Can, can we just rewind again? That, that's what the Lord said. The Lord said to man that thou shall, thou shall have power and authority, have dominion, and you shall, you shall replenish the earth. And the word replenish, which means male, you shall complete what I started. So here Jesus Christ had a work to do because sin was created and caused death to manifest. So hear Jesus Christ, know his purpose, understand, and hear Jesus declare in John 17 and 4, what he said again. I have glorified thee in the earth. I have finished the work. I have finished the organ, the business. <laughs> I have finished the employment. I have finished the labor. Because being on the cross was a labor. Being on the cross, take energy, my God. 
Being in the cross took everything, every strength and vitality from him. That's why he closed his hand, he closed his eye, bow his head and said, ah, oh, it's finished. So he said, I have finished the work, John 17 and 4, which thou giveth me to do. I have finished the employment, the labor, the business, which thou giveth me to do. Poor echo, to do, to make, to render one thing or to lead him out. So here he said, yeah, I finished it, God, what I did, I paid in full the debt to take back the spiritual debt. There had to be a natural debt. I don't care what nobody say, but Jesus Christ is not God. You are blaspheming, you're going straight to hell. H-E-L, hell. That's a hell is a curse. It is a curse because you're going to burn up in hell. That's it. Hello. So he said, I finished the work, Pastor Marcel. Yeah. So if he finished the work <laughs> that he was sent to do, was to die for us so that we can be born again. Let, let's go to the text a little bit. Let's go to the text so we can pray. He, he said, he said, he said in, in the text in John 19, let, let's read from verses 24. Watch what he says. He says, and, and while the soldiers were looking after themselves, Jesus, Jesus' mother is aunt Mary, the wife of, of uh, uh, Clopas, and Mary Magdalene, she was one, uh, and Mary Magdalene, she was one of the, uh, uh, the, 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 the woman that Jesus Christ cast out the devil from. And we see that in Mark chapter 16 and verses 9 and also Luke 8 and 2. She stood at the feet of Jesus. Mm -hmm. so, so Mark is giving description now. She stood at the feet of Jesus. And Jesus saw his mother and, and the description he loved standing near her. He said to his mother, woman, here is your son. Woman, here is your son. Go back again. The Lord said, I will put enmity between your seed, uh, 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 Eve, and between the seed of the enemy. So that which has begun in the Garden of Eden, it ended on the cross. He said, all right, all right. Woman, here is your mother. Woman, mother, here is your son. He said to his mother, and I'm reading the message Bible. He said to his mother, woman, here is your son. Then to the disciples, here is your mother. From that moment, the disciples accepted her as his mother. So, so now they're saying that John, that some are saying that John was the only one that was now, uh, was there to responsibility to, 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 to shepherd or to take care of Jesus Christ's mother. So here, here, here he said, he said, he said, disciples, here is your mother. Uh, verses 28, Jesus seeing that everything had been completed. Jesus seen everything had been completed. Jesus seen everything was completed. Everything was completed. And the King James said everything was accomplished. Tell echo, which means everything was bring to an end. Everything has been to an end or everything has been fulfilled. So that the scripture record might also be complete. Then said, I am thirsty. Because, because, go, go real quick to Psalm, Psalm 69, Psalm 69 and, and verses 21. What, 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 what make reference to what Jesus Christ has said. Psalm 69 and verses 21. They said that he said he was going to be thirsty because he said, okay, now, now I'm making a conclusion. I, I'm now finishing everything. Psalm 69 and verses 20, 21. What he said, then they give also gal for my meat. And in my thirst, they give me vinegar to drink. It was prophesied in scripture that Jesus Christ was going to ask for water and they were going to give him vinegar. So here now he's thirsty and they give him, he said, I'm thirsty. They give him vinegar. And he says, a jug of sour, uh, sour wine was standing by. Someone put a sponge soaked with a wine on a javelin and lifted it up to his mouth. After he took the, the wine, Jesus said, it, it is, it is, it is done. It is done. And I'm going to give you several things what Jesus Christ says is done. Why it's done. Not only for debt. Taking authority over debt and taking back the keys that Satan had. That was delivered to him in the Garden of Eden. He said it is done. He offered up his spirit. So Jesus Christ knew it was done and he offered up his spirit. Why, why is it finished? Number one, because the word became flesh. Why Jesus said it is finished? Because the word became flesh. Somebody said the word became flesh. And John said it in John 1.14. And the word was made flesh. Sask. 
donate mere human nature. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory, John 1 and 14. We beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father full of grace and truth. So when Jesus declared it is finished, he came to let them know that he was God manifested in the flesh. That's why the scribes and the Pharisees were questioning Jesus Christ because they did not understand how can you be before Abraham? We follow the laws of Abraham, they declare, but Jesus Christ said, before Abraham was, I am, because I am the one that came in the flesh. I am the one that spoke it in Genesis, and I'm the one that became it right now in the New Testament. So the word became flesh. He said, it's finished, that's it. So, 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 that's what he always said. If you see God, you see me. I'm in the Father, the Father in me, and you in me. If you believe me as the Father sent me, then I will let the Father know and he shall rejoice. Because why? Because he said, I am God manifested in the flesh. And that confused the intellect of Satan. Satan could have never understand the crucifixion of Christ. Because again, when he, the Lord said, I'm going to bruise the seed of Satan, bruise the seed of the woman, he did not understand. Even Eve did not understand. We saw it on Sunday when we went straight into Genesis chapter 5, when she said, oh, the Lord has given me a son. She thought that her son was going to bring redemption to us, but no, it couldn't happen. Because they introduced death and the Lord had to die. Someone had to die the death <laughs> on the cross. So when he said it's finished, he declared to let us know that now I am God. That's it. If you take Jesus out of the equation, you can never make it to heaven. I don't care what nobody said. There's not 20 ways to heaven. There's one way to heaven. And he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Because he died for us. He came and went on the cross. Not Eric Christian, not your best friend, but Jesus did. So he let us know it is finished. I am God manifested in the flesh. Hello? <laughs> Hello, somebody. He, he came, he came, and he declared that it's finished. Number two, to fulfill the laws and the prophets. Somebody said the laws and the prophets. He says in, in, in Matthew 5 and 17, he said in Matthew 5 and 17, think not that I've come to destroy the law. That I'm come to destroy the nanos, that Greek word law, which means that which is a sign or custom of the Mosaic law. I have not come to destroy the law or the prophets. That's why they're still prophets. And some people say that there's no prophet. He didn't come to destroy the laws and the prophet. He said, I'm come to not to destroy, but to fulfill. And now what fulfill is play ruho? The same word we get in Genesis when he said to replenish the, the earth. To complete. So he said, I come to complete. <laughs> I came to complete what the prophets and the law. That is why in the, in the mountain of transfiguration, they had to see Moses and Elijah. Because Moses represents the law and Elijah represents what the prophets are prophets. So he was telling the disciples, I didn't come to do away with it. I come to fulfill it. I came to complete it. I came to accomplish it. So when Jesus came to go to the cross, Lord, I thank you. Was to let us know, brothers and sisters, that he came to fulfill. He came to fulfill that which was spoken. And tonight you got to understand. Oh, brothers and sisters, Lord, I think you got to understand that the death of Jesus Christ was not an ordinary death. It's not for you to say, oh, today he died and that's it. He died so that he can make sure that we know that he's God. He's God manifested in the flesh that we may know that he came. He came to fulfill that which was turned in the corn of Eden. He came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. He came that we might be set free. Somebody said to be set free. Watch this, watch this. One more point. And he said, and he said, he said, he, he, he came, he came and he said it's finished because, because the word became flesh. And, and number two, because it came to fulfill the laws and the prophet. And number three, to set us free from the law. He he says in John 8 and 36 and 37, he said, Pilate replied, but, but, but ye are the king then. But he said, yes, Jesus said, I, I was born for that purpose. <laughs> I came to bring truth to the world and all who love the truth are my followers. So here he declared, let, let, me, let me go real quick to John. That was John 18 and 36. 
37. Let me go to John 8 and verses 36. He came to set us free. Somebody said, he came to set us free. That's why he said, oh, the son is set free. It's certainly free indeed. So if you've been set free, nothing should be able to hold you down. Nobody can make you stay in sin. Nobody can make you be bound to something because the Lord has come to set you free. Somebody said, I'm set free because of Christ Jesus. Somebody declare, I'm set free because the man went on the cross. Watch what he said in John 8 and 36. And they went their way and they came on a certain water and said, the Enoch, she here is the water. And he declared, he said, he said, he said, I'm reading the wrong thing. He said, he said, watch this in John 8 and 36. He said, and if the son therefore has make you free, then you are free indeed. So which is an indication that brothers and sisters, you cannot keep saying that Satan make you do it. You cannot keep saying that Satan keep you bound. Because the Lord said, oh, the son has set free. It's certainly free indeed. So Jesus Christ came. So that's why he could not, he could not be excused to go on the cross. That's why he said the work is done. He went on the cross. And while they were taking him, and they whipped him 39 times, and in the whipping prophetess Matisse, he could have said, I'm tired now. But he did not give up. Because all he remember is that Satan got the keys, the keys of death, and I can't allow Satan to have a third of my people. So what the Lord did, while they were whipping him on the back, he carried the cross, and he said, I gotta carry it for my people. I got to make sure that they do not leave, and not an opportunity to live again, to live in eternity. So he carried the cross, knowing brothers and sisters, what the enemy did in the garden of Eden. He carried the cross, letting them know that it's not the gods of the earth, not nobody can save them, but God himself, he carried the cross. So you and I can know that once he died and changed the keys and give it back to us, that's how many times. And he went on the cross. And while he was on the cross, he could not just say, I'm going to give up the ghost and not do it for my people. I had to do, I had to die. So when he was on the cross, he said, I'm going to take the whipping. I'm going to take the stripes. I'm going to take the crown of thorns. I'm going to take the vinegar on my lips because I got a people on my mind. I got the people. I got to deliver from the hands of Satan. I got my people huh, that I got to rescue. Huh? So he kept on going. Huh? He carried the cross huh? and he did not give up huh? because he had you in mind. Huh? And he knew huh, that once you went to the cross, huh, that nothing can hold you down. Huh? Because he went to the cross, huh? he knew that you huh, will be made whole. Huh? And I come to tell somebody today, huh? he put things in order huh? because he said it's finished. Huh? Your miracle's finished. Huh? Your healing is finished. Your breakthrough is finished. Your increase is finished. I said it's finished today. Oh, the sun set free. You're free today. Don't let nobody let them hold your tongue. Don't let nobody keep you in bondage because the Lord Somebody said the Lord has to live it. He could have changed his mind and said this is too much for me to bear. But he could not because he knew that Satan had authority and he did not want Satan to have the authority. He wanted you and I to take authority and brothers and sisters his death today is for the purpose that we might know him. That's a pause that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering so he died for you so you can come out from the stench of Satan so you can come out from the wet of Satan so you can come out from being defeated by Satan he died for you I said he died for you somebody just for you somebody say he died for me he died he died he died he, he died somebody say he died he died he, he, he could have he stay he, he, he could have stayed right here but my brothers and sisters he didn't he, he had you and I on mine somebody said he had me on his mind somebody said he had you on his mind while he was on the cross there's a song so while he was on the cross I was on his mind you were on the mind of God because all he seemed I got 
to give my people everlasting life. I got to give my people eternal life. I got to give my people salvation. He made up in his mind that he had to stay there until he get back. That's why it just read that he went to the earth and he took back the keys and he took the keys from Satan because he said my people have given to this earth. I've given them so they had to have authority. Somebody declare God authority. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. So 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 so, so, so when when he said when he when he said it's finished, prophet is Matthew. So when he said it's finished, it's an indication. He was saying I, I'm God manifested in flesh. When he said it's finished, it's, a, it's an indication he came to fulfill the law. When he said it's finished, it's an indication that we might be set free. When he said it's finished, is an indication that we may be able to know, brothers and sisters, that we may be able to know that we have the power now over the wiles of the enemy. Somebody said, I got the power of the wiles of the enemy. We're going to pray. Somebody said, I got I have the power. He put things in order. So if he put things in order, prophetess Matthias, it's an indication that if he put things in order, then we have the authority now and we need to walk in that authority. We need to walk in that authority. Somebody said, I'm a walking authority. Somebody said, I'm going to walk in that authority. Somebody said, I'm going to walk in that authority. Somebody declare, I'm going to walk in that authority. He said, it's finished. It is finished. It is finished. It is finished, Sister Bridget. All that you need, it is done. <laughs> I said, all that you need, it is done. He gave up the ghost. He said, it's finished. And he bowed his head. He bowed his head when he said it was done. He bowed his head when he said he was finished. He could have come down on the cross. The Bible said he could have called 10,000 angels. <laughs> he could have called 10,000 angels to deliver him. But he said, no, I can't. What has been taken from my people, I got to hand it back to them. What has been taken from my people, <laughs> I have to hand it back to them. I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't leave them in this earth realm without power and authority. That's why God has given him a name that's above every other name. Not some name, Sister Diaz. That's how you can use that name at all times. By the mention of his name, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess. The two thieves at the cross, one said to him, can you make a room there for me in paradise? He said, yes, you will. I will make room. The other one said, well, if, if, you, if you're God, why don't you just take yourself down and take us on the cross? He had no understanding that Jesus Christ had to die and raise again for us. He could have come down on the cross while he was taking the spear in his hands, in his side, in his feet, and the crumb of thorn placed on his head. Vinegar on his bruised lips. He could have said, you know what, Pastor Mar said, forget these people. I, I can't. I'm not, I'm not doing this no more for them. I'm, I'm done. I'm not. He, he could have said that. But he didn't. <clears throat> he said, I got them in mind. And I can't allow Satan to have the authority over my people. I want somebody to know today all that you need from the Lord. It is done. All that you need from the Lord. It is finished. Oh Jesus.
baski tala manda baske tola bonda baske ta rusuku tala mande baske tele manda kaskata ikuris kana manza katala mande keskoto risunda manzi katala mande heketo yoko seketa From God, in the cross, <laughs> in the cross. Yeah. 
Come on, somebody. He said it's finished on the cross. Come on, somebody. He said it's finished. And is it finished tonight? Let's grab what's finished. Let's take what's finished. Come on, somebody. No more be partakers. No more be partakers. We're sons and daughters. Come on, somebody. You're partakers of the miracle. You're partakers of the authority. You're partakers of the power. You're partakers of the anointing. You're partakers of the blessing. You're partakers tonight. Come on, somebody. Roscutana manda. Rosukana manda. Rosukana manda. Resikana manzeke. Rasukuna mama 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 mama. Ikuna na 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 na. Ikana na 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 na. Ikana na 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 na. Ikuna mama mama mama. Ikuna mama mama mama. Ukuna mama mama mama. Rasikuna wanda siha. Ikuna na na sika. Ekoto koto koto kete. Ikonda koto koto koto. Ikonda koto koto. Come on, somebody, reach out tonight. Reach out. Reach in the palm of his hands. Reach in the palm of his hands. Come on, somebody, reach out and touch him tonight. Come on, somebody, reach out. Reach out in prayer. Come on, Sister Sharika. You got to reach out in prayer. Reach out tonight, Prophet Matis. I say, reach out in prayer. Ruskana manda. Come on, somebody, ride on it. I said, Come on, somebody, ride on it. I said, Come on, somebody, ride on it. Ride on in his glory. Ride on in his presence. Ride on in his glory. Come on, somebody. Go on in, sister. Night. Press on in today. Press on in today. Press on in this glory. Press on in this power. Press on in. He has given you the keys today. Come on, somebody. He could have manzaka. Rosukunda 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 manzaka. R
his tongue. Come on, sister Danetta. Your grandson healing is done. It's finished today. Come on, somebody's tongue. Come on, somebody. It is done. I said it is done. What you need is done. What you believe for is done. What you trust God for is done. What you hold to God for is done. I said it's done today. Come on, sister, now it is done. What you trust God for, it is done today. It come to pass today. It is finished today. Come on, you got to believe. I said, believe my faith. I said, trust my faith. It is done, sister Bridget. It is done today. It is done today. It is finished. He did it for you. Ruska na ma 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 say ha. Rusku ta na 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 ha. Hey, 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 hey. Go on in, somebody. I said, go on in. Let's seek His face for five more minutes. I said, seek his face for five more minutes. You got to go on in. I said, 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 press on in. I said, press on in. Believe God for what you need today to be finished. I said, believe God and reach out and grab it. And reach out and grab it. And reach out and grab it. We thank you, Lord, it is done. We thank you, the miracle is done. We thank you, the healing is done. We thank you, the breakthrough is done. We thank you, the release is done. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Haya manzevita. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Neither enter the hearts of men that which God prepared for them that love Him. El subruskita. Eko roskata. Eko rosketa. For the enemy came to steal, kill, and destroy. But he has come that we might have life and have it more abundantly. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believing in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Ruskata la manza. 
Somebody say it's done. It's done. Somebody say it's done. Somebody say it's done. Since the dear says it's done, that's it. That's it. This day is done. Hold the blood that gives me strength. From day to day, it will never lose his power. <laughs> the message Bible said, and when he had given his last breath. He said, it is done. Message Bible, John 19, 30. King James says, he gave his last breath. Right then, John 19, 30. And he said, it's finished. All he promises, it is finished. Somebody write real quick, say, it's finished. <laughs> Somebody write it real quick, it's finished. Oh, oh. Right for this guy, he give the last breath. Your hey, mama was not even in conception yet. You were not even in conception, but God knew that you were going to be proud for this guy. And he said, it's done for Prophet God. It's done for Sister Diaz. It's done for Prophet Loretta. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. It is done. Ali, it's done. It is done. So it is done, that's it. It's finished. It's finished. 
Grab a paper real quick. Write this date. March 29, 2024. Write that thing that you want God to just say it's done. Get a paper mark, March 29, 2024. Healing, right, it's done. Breakthrough, it's done. Deliverance, done. <laughs> Promotion, done. Blessing, done. Job, done. Business, done. Love, done. <laughs> Ready, real quick, we pray. Oh, gee. <laughs> March 29, 2024. That's it. March 29, 2024. We can pray. We gotta go. <laughs> March 29, 2024. Thank you, Lord. It's done. March 29. 2024. I know some of you want to know what I write. Ministry, that's it. <laughs> March 29th, 2024. Write what you want God to do. Say it's done. Oh, gee. Write miracle, whatever you want. Just say it's done. You're going to go. so sweet to trust in Jesus <laughs> just to take him off this world just to rest upon his goodness <laughs> just to know thus said the Lord Jesus, Jesus, how I trust you. Thank you, Lord. How I prove it more and more. Jesus, Jesus. Pastor William Sutton is done. Precious Jesus, oh for grace to trust Him. Whoa. March 29, 2024. Put what you say and you know. Write it. You don't have to show it. Write it. Write it. Write it and then say it's done because God says it's finished. <laughs> oh, Sister Diaz, write it, believe it, lift it up. You can pray, lift it up. Everything your people believe you for, that is done. I decree and I declare. You say, speak to those things that are not as though they were. You say, if we say to this mountain, be thou removed, it shall be removed. And if we doubt not, it shall come to pass. You say, we shall say to this thing and it shall be established. You said, death and life is in the power of the tongue. And with my tongue, based on the authority of your word and on the unction of your anointing I speak over every written request and it's on this day March 29th as you say it's finished God that it's also finished for your people thank you thank you thank you 
for this day. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. It's done. Somebody say it's done. You got a seed. You have a seed. You have a seed. Let me close. You got a seed. $45 seed. Let me go. Let me go. Get a seed. It's done. Hachee. <laughs> it is done. It is done. Somebody got a seed in your hand. You're going to go. You're going to go. Somebody say it's done, it's done. Just get a seed, it is done. Name your seed, it is done. It is done. Get a seed, $45. That's it, that's it. It is done. Get a seed, $45. Somebody say it's done, it's done. Oh, 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 oh. oh thank you, Lord. Oh, Thank you, Lord. Forty-five dollars. See that? Say, give a seat. We gotta keep moving. It's done. 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 Somebody say, it's done. It's done. It's done. Somebody say, it's done. Oh! It's done, it's done, it's done. Somebody declare it's done. <laughs> Somebody saw for your loved one tonight. We can go, we can go. It is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. <laughs> Message Bible said it's done. King James said it's finished. This day. I said this day. Oh. It's done, it's done, it's done, it's done, it's done. Give for your loved ones. Give for your loved ones. Give for your loved ones, sister. I give for your husband. It's done. Give for your husband. Give for your mama tonight. It's done. <laughs> it is done. It is done. It is done. It is done. Somebody declare it is done. Somebody declare it. Somebody declare it. Somebody declare it. Declare it quick. It is done. Move quick. It is done. Oh, oh. It is done, Prophetess Beverly Jackson. It is done, Prophetess Loretta. It is done. It is done. It is done. It is done, Mother Dennis. It's done. That's it. <laughs> It is done, Sister Nadine Rose. It's done. It's done. Believe the word and believe this day that what he has spoken. It is done. Somebody say it's done. It's done. We can take communion. Give a seed. It is done. Somebody give for your loved ones. Give for your loved ones. Sharice Williams, it's done! 
Somebody declare it tonight. Speak it out tonight. Believe it tonight. Thank you, Prophetess God. It's done. It's done. It's done. <laughs> Sister Sharika, it's done. Ruska talaman zaketo kondama. Rusku tanandan zikata. Rusku tanaman zake. Declare it. It is finished tonight. Because God says it. <laughs> We gotta take communion in a second. We gotta take communion in a second. Somebody give for your loved one, give for your mama. Oh jeez, oh jeez. <laughs> and Jesus was the seed, the seed. And we give our seed. <laughs> So we can see the tree of finish. Yes, Lord, I thank you. So we're going to have to go back and look at this again. Ho Chi, Ho Chi, Ho Chi, Ho Chi. <laughs> oh, thank you, Prophet Kanji. It is finished. It is finished. It is finished. Not one word that he promised Israel. Every good thing he promised Israel. The word of God said all came to pass. And what you've written down. What you've written down, let me take a minute, we gotta go. What you've written down, it is going to come to pass. What you've written down, what you've written down, it will come to pass. Get your communion. Father, as we partake in communion tonight, we pray over everyone's bread and crackers. It's on this day, and you give up the ghost. You said to your disciples, Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me and eat in remembrance of you. I send the name of Jesus over everyone's communion now, and I say this in Jesus' name. First Corinthians 11, 24, when you give him thanks, you break it and say, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. He said, do this in remembrance of me. Let's take the bread, let's eat represents the body of Christ. Verses 25, after saying, man, also he took the cup in itself, saying this cup is a new testament in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Let's take the cup to represents the blood of Christ. Awesome God. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to pray and let you go. I want you to keep what you have written down. And that's for your kids, Prophet Sharice Williams. It's done. I want you to believe God for, for them today. That is done. That thing you've written down. Here is what you're going to do. Keep it in your purse. As long as you desire. <laughs> that thing you've written down. I want you to keep it in your purse. March 29. Pastor Sutton. 2024. I put ministry and it is done because King James says it's finished message Bible says it's done fold it men put in your wallet sisters put in your purse 
Put it right there. <laughs> oh. Keep it in your wallet. Keep it in your purse. Keep it as long as possible. It's done. Some of you have testimonies come forth next week. Some of you in the next two weeks. Some of you in the next three weeks. Some of you in the next month. Some of you soon. Some is hit. As soon as we hit summer, the first day of summer, some of you will get that testimony, what you've written down. Some of you will get that testimony, what you've written down. <laughs> Who's believing God for your spouse to come out of prison? Put your spouse name. Who's believing God for your spouse to come out of prison? Put his spouse. What's your spouse name? Put his name. Prison. Come out of prison. It's done. Who are you? Where you at? Write it. <laughs> I said, write it and watch God. I said, write it and watch God. I mean, two hours, we gotta go. We gotta go. It is done. Come back tomorrow, 6.45, on the prayer line. Sunday morning, 10.45, Resurrection Sunday. Resurrection Sunday. It's done. Somebody say it again. It is done. Like and share. Like and share so others can receive what was given today. Like and share so others can receive. We're going to give some commercial. We're going to pray and let you go. We know mighty Savior. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's not by might nor by power, but it's by your spirit. You say it is finished on this day. Keys been given back to us. Power's been given back to us. Understanding of who you are been released to us. Set free fulfillment of your scripture. Thank you, Lord, for doing it today. You could walk away you didn't and we thank you Lord for doing it for us thank you for shining for your people thank you for answering their prayers thank you for releasing the promises thank you for granting the miracle and breakthrough thank you for opening the doors thank you Abba Father for healing For that woman who believed God for a husband to come out of prison, I thank you, Lord, for deliverance. For that person who's believing you for a greater relationship with their spouse, that you, God, will do it. Those who believe in you, God, for eternal realm, that you will grant it. Thank you for working the work for your people. Thank you for shining upon them. Thank you for giving them God open doors. Bless them, the acts. And I say today, as you said it's finished, I say, God, everything that you promise your people, it is finished. I pray they have good night rest tonight. I pray for the pillow top and the bottom, no prophetic, Lord, no, no demonic attack, no panic attack, no anxiety, but only sweet dreams. Let your presence be with them. Let your glory rest with them. Those who are lacking, give. Those who need healing, grant it. Those who need breakthrough, release it. Those who need a word from you, give them the answer. Speak tonight to them in dreams. Bless your people, we ask. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. We love you guys. Give your seed. It's finished. It's done. Sister and I, give for your husband tonight. Give for your mama. And watch God do the rest. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow, 6.45 p.m. on the prayer line. Use information for the prayer line. God bless. And to destroy, but Jesus Christ came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Can the church say that I am delivered? Can you say that I have been delivered? You have now given birth to something new. You have been set free. And today, today's victory is...
Are you a part of the prayer line? Join Apostle Murphy and A. Samson on the prayer line, Monday through Friday at 7.45 p.m., Saturday at 6.45 p.m., and Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Call 267-930-4000. Access code is 074-303-015. Again, that number is 267-930-4000. And the access code is... 074-303-015. A time for warfare prayer, teaching, prophecy, intercession, and communion. Visit the website for more information at www.mertleyandsampson.org. Join the prayer line and receive your healing, miracle, supernatural turnaround, breakthrough, unexpected money, and supernatural release. Call Monday through Friday at 7.45 p.m. Saturday at 6.45 p.m. or Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and join the prayer line. Call us at 267-930-4000. Access code is 074-303-015. Be a part of this prayerful movement. Order Pastor Merthine A. Sampson's new prayer book, Palal, a book that contains 31 types of prayer. Prayers that bring supernatural breakthrough. It includes specific prayers that we can pray to help us bring immediate answers and eminent response within a short period of time. Palal has a variety of prayers that will allow you to walk in your freedom, help you to usher in your blessings, miracles, healings, and dismantle the power and works of darkness. It's an everyday book that can be used for your daily devotion. You can travel with this book wherever you go. You can start and end your day with one of these prayers. This book is available in hard and soft cover copies. Request your copy today for your donation of $35 or more. Request online at www.mertheensampson.org or call 347-299-1711. You can write to Pastor Merlin A. Sampson, P.O. Box 301054, Brooklyn, New York, 11230. Apostle Mirthleen Sampson's new 10-track CD titled Come in This House is a traditional praise and worship CD that will help you encounter the presence of God. the CD during your prayer time or while driving in your car and experience the glory of God. For a gift of $20 or more, get Mirthleen Sampson's new 10-track CD, Come in This House. Send your check to Apostle Mirthleen A. Sampson, P.O. Box 301054, Brooklyn, New York, 11230. Or order online at www.mirthleensampson.org or by calling 888-411-8904. Connect with Apostle Samson on social media and receive daily encouragement. Follow Apostle Mertling A. Samson on Facebook at Apostle Mertling A. Samson. Connect with Apostle Mertling A. Samson on Instagram at Apostle underscore Mertling Samson. Follow Apostle Mertling A. Samson on Twitter at Mertling. And subscribe to her YouTube video at Apostle Mertling A. Sampson. Go ahead and connect now with Apostle Mertling A. Sampson on social media and be a part of her virtual social media family.
Apostle Merthlene A. Sampson would love to hear from you. Connect with her now. Thank you.